The 16th branch of Mega Mart and Macro Mart supermarkets in Bukharin has opened in Sahala. The best offers are available to the customers at affordable rates. Everyone is welcome. During and around the opening day, a variety of fish including salmon, meat and dairy products, roastery, frozen items, food and non-food items, groceries, fruits and vegetables, electronics, garments and ready-to-eat food items are available to the customers at affordable rates. Hearty welcome to all Mega Mart and Macro Mart, your favorite shopping destination. NEC Rabbit, send money online to India. Credit in seconds with great rates. Download NEC Rabbit app now. The exclusive franchisee of Cochin Kala Bhavan in Bahrain. With over a decade of existence in Bahrain, exclusive online regular classes have started for classical dances, music vocal, instrumental music, cinematic dance, Kathak, Zumba body fitness, karate and yoga, drawing, arts and craft, children's theatre. For more information, please call 3909-6845-3909-4806-3885-2397 or visit www.bahrainmediacity.com Since 2006, Magnum Imprint have been offering high standards of quality with our professional team that delivers all your advertising and promotional requirements efficiently and promptly. For more details, please contact 39887088 or 33856330 or 33542530. Good evening everyone, here we meet again with yet another episode of BMC Global Live Al Hilal Health World, Nothing But Lifestyle. This talk show is purely dedicated to addressing all your health queries and concerns and every episode features an expert doctor who provides valuable information and advice on various health topics. Today we are delighted to have with us Dr. Shankar N, the specialist urologist at Al Hilal Hospital, Manama. He will educate us on UTI or urinary tract infection. Dr. Shankar comes with a wealth of experience of more than 12 years in urology. He's an expert in open urological procedures, andrology and endourology. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us on the show. Thank you. Welcome to the show. Thank you. So UTI is a common word which we, we are very familiar with, but yes. still for the benefit of our viewers, could you please explain what it is exactly? Okay. UTI is a urinary tract infection. It is the inflammatory response of the urothelium to bacterial invasion that is usually associated with bacteria and pyuria. What is bacteria? Bacteria is the presence of bacteria in the urine sample. It is associated with pyuria. Pyuria is defined as presence of pus cells or WBC that is white blood cells in the urine. Usually urine tract infection associated with both pyuria and bacteria. Uh, the pyuria is also present without bacteria that is known as sterile pyuria. It is inflammatory response to the bacteria or infection or non-infectious conditions like uh, kidney stones and malignancies and tuberculosis infection. So this is known as sterile pyuria. So both uh, pyuria and bacteria is usually common but pyuria without bacteria is 
common in TB, stone and malignancies. And, and the reverse uh, bacteria without pyuria is also possible. That is colonization of the bacteria without infection of the urinary tract. Again, bacteria is again classified as symptomatic bacteria and asymptomatic bacteria. Symptomatic bacteria means when, when our patient comes to us with symptoms related to urological tract infection, uh, on investigation it is found. Whereas asymptomatic bacteria is done for population or screening tests, it is detected uh, bacterial count and uh, WBC, that is asymptomatic bacteria. What is the most common organism causing UTI and how does it cause uh, a urinary tract infection? Actually, uh, bacteria causing the UTI, is bacterial infection is the most common. Other causes are uh, fungus and virus can also cause. Among the bacteria, uh, E. coli that is commonly originating from the intestine, that is normal flora of the intestine, it is present in the rectum that will cause the infection. It causes around 85% of the community acquired infection and 50% of the hospital acquired infection. And the mechanism is, this is common in females when compared to males because of the close proximity of the anus to the urethra. Okay. And urethra also shorter in length, 4 centimeter only. And it is straight course. Whenever the, from anus the bacteria enters the vagina, then it comes anterior part of vagina, urethral mucosa, then it can easily passes up to the bladder when it may uh, ascends only short uh, length of around 4 centimeter. So how and common it, is? Uh, actually this mechanism is uh, E. coli which bind to the vaginal mucosa or urethral mucosa. Then it will penetrate the mucosa and enter the genital urinary or renal system, then causes the symptoms related and complications. So is that the reason why uh, UTI is very common in young women? Yeah, that is why it is very common in young women. Among the school, school going children, it is 1% in women and young women, uh, it is 4%. It is 30% common in young women when compared to men. And in old age, after 65 years, it is only two times common when compared to men. So young women is most commonly affected and sexually active young women. Okay, and what about post-menopausal women? We have seen that a uh, lot of women who are in their post-menopause stage are more prone to yeah. getting yes, UTI. Yes. What could be yeah. the reason behind yeah. this? As the age advances, uh, menopause happens around 40, uh, some people 45 to 50 years of age. After menopause, uh, e estrogen hormone will be reduced. Usually the vagina is acidic pH, around pH value 3 to 3.5. And this acid uh, is also supported by lactobacillus, that is normal supporting flora of the vagina. 95% bacilli is lactobacilli. Other normal flora is uh, coagulus negative staphylococcus or carnibacteria. This lactobacillus produces acidic pH. And acidic pH is useful for survival of the, this lactobacillus. Both are interdependent. When the age advances, this hormonal change happens. Estrogen reduces, pH uh, increases from 3 to around 5, so the immunity will comes down and lactobacilli will come down. So this bacteria gets space for attachment. So that space become empty when the lactobacilli are destroyed because of the alkaline pH. So this E. coli easily gets the space for binding in vagina and pair urethral mucosa. In that way it enters the urinary tract. Okay. And other causes are as the age increases, pelvic muscles will become weak and uh, pelvic organs, bladder and uterus comes around. That is uh, pelvic organ prolapse, cystocele and uh, post white residue also that is after passing urine, always the, some urine is remaining in women. Okay. In post menopausal, approximately 100 ml is associated with more chance of infection and urine, uh, urethra will be narrow in them because of the low estrogen also. So dilatation of the urethra will help for them if the post residue is more than 100. The post residue is measured by ultrasound. That is why this, these are all the risk factors of the okay. post And doctor, what about pregnant women? Is it important to screen them for um, UTI even if the symptoms are not present? How important yeah, yeah, is screening for question. UTI? Definitely they need screen, screening for UTI in the first trimester itself. The reason is other normal women, non-pregnant women uh, will not get any complication, but whereas 
pregnant ladies will get complication that is very serious complication can happen up to 30 to 40 percent of the pregnant ladies it will happen infection of the kidneys that is known as pyelonephritis so that is very dangerous complication of uti if we miss it it may enter into the blood stream cause a septicemia then and uh, septic shock also it may occur if we don't detect early in pregnancy and treat it so all pregnant lady irrespective of the symptoms or asymptomatic bacteria should be treated okay this is a reason behind this so it's mandatory screening. that all the pregnant but women yeah, get tested screened. for yes, screened yes, for yes, uti yes, whether yes. they have symptoms, symptoms or not are asymptom, yes. okay and what are the symptoms that generally patients manifest when they have a uti okay. and what are the investigations that you okay. do to okay. treat it okay. so usually symptoms are defined as uh, in the urinary tract again divided into upper urinary tract and lower urinary tract Upper urinary tract includes kidney and ureter. Lower urinary tract, bladder, urethra in females, and prostate also comes in males in lower urinary tract. The infection of the kidney, uh, UTI symptoms, pyelonephritis. These uh, symptoms are uh, blank pain, fever, nausea, vomiting, and if uh, become serious, as I told before, septic shock, very difficult to treat, and inflammation of the urethra. Ureter, known as ureteritis, this will also lead to plant pain and other uremia symptoms. Uremia means nausea, vomiting, all those. And in the lower tract, uh, cystitis is an infection of the bladder, known as cystitis. And urethra is ureteritis. Cystitis clinical features are suprapubic or uh, lower abdomen pain, dysuria. Dysuria means burning pain while urination. Frequency, very often tendency to go to pass urine, often 30 minutes to 1 hour. Urgency, urgency is inability to postpone the act of urination. That is a, and uh, some people will develop nocturia also because of irritability of the bladder. And when coming to urethra, it is only urethritis. It is caused by urinary tract infection less common, but STI, sexually transmitted infection, gonorrhea, chlamydia will cause urethritis leading to stricture or narrowing of the urethra. That will also cause uh, difficulty in passing okay. urine, straining on urination. And overall common urological symptoms, upper and lower, it may be cloudy urine, pus in the urine, discoloration of urine, and blood in the urine, that is reddish color, discoloration of the urine. So these are all the overall symptoms of this uh, UTI. Coming to investigation, the first common investigation is urine microscopy mm -hmm. and it is not accurate whenever the infection that the count bacterial count more than 10 power 5 that is more than 1 lakh per milliliter it will show positive otherwise it will miss the bacterial and WBCs in the urine so okay. urine culture is most accurate it will show accurately how much uh, bacteria are. but so depending on this significant bacteria a significant bacteria term is there a significant bacteria means after culture, 10 to the power of 5 coliform unit, that is 1 lakh CFU per milliliter should be there in respect of symptom or not symptom. Whereas in symptomatic dysuria, if symptom is there, 10 to the power of 2, that is only 100 coliform unit per ml should be taken and treated. Otherwise, uh, if we do urine microscopy, this 10 to the power of 5 only detected, less than or missed actually, then it will lead to further complication. Okay. So culture is accurate and bacterial count 10 power of 2 per ml should be treated aggressively in case of if the symptoms are existent. Okay. If the symptoms are not there, 10 to the power of 5 should be treated. The branch of Megamart and Macromart supermarkets in Bohorin has opened in Sahala. 
the best offers are available to the customers at affordable rates. Everyone is welcome. During and around the opening day, a variety of fish including salmon, meat and dairy products, roastery, frozen items, food and non-food items, groceries, fruits and vegetables, electronics, garments and ready-to-eat food items are available to the customers at affordable rates. Hearty welcome to all. Mega Mart and Macro Mart, your favorite shopping destination. So, urine culture test is the most important most step in the yeah, investigation yeah. process. Yes, yes. Uh, not only uh, microscopic culture, again further tests are there. Okay. If on the treatment resolution happens, resolution means disappearance of symptoms and bacteria. Sometimes it will not. Then further radiological test should be there. First is simple ultrasound to check for the upper urinary tract. Okay. And even after if it is still not to be in CT scan and further. Further and investigation. And should patients with asymptomatic bacteria still be treated? Yeah, as you, I told before, pregnant ladies should be treated. Okay. And other, all previous, uh, before surgery, we should treat. Okay. Otherwise, after surgery, they will complicate and uh, okay. they enter the bloodstream causing septicemia. So before septicemia. any major surgery, yeah, whether yeah, you yeah. display symptoms or not, you should yeah, still yeah, get yeah, screened for yeah, UTI. Screen, should get screened and get treated. Treated for These UTI. These two are the important. Okay. And um, doctor, you spoke about the upper uh, urinary tract and lower urinary tract. Yes, so, yes. how do you differentiate between these two? How do you know whether you have an infection of the upper tract or the yeah, lower yeah. tract? Are the okay. symptoms different or yes, uh, is it uh, the same? Actually, uh, this is localizing the symptoms to the upper urinary tract and lower tract. Traditionally, uh, flank pain, uh, fever and bacteria are, the, are thought to be diagnostic of pyelonephritis. But now uh, only cystitis will present like flank pain, fever, bacteria. So it is accuracy is less than 50 percent. And on the contrary, when the bladder only involved mm. in ultrasound, it will showing sometimes it will show kidney involved. So both chance it is there. We should not depend on the clinical signs only. So it, if we depend on this, we will miss 50 percent okay. either way. So okay. if we think lower, it will be involved upper. If you think upper lower only it will show like that. So accuracy of clinical science only is limitation up to 50 percent only. To get correct diagnosis we should take investigation with uh, radiological support also necessary. Okay. And what is complicated and uncomplicated uh, infection? Uh, complicated and uncomplicated depends on the function and structure of the genitourinary system. Uh, uncomplicated means any infection or UTI in the normal structure and functional urinary system. Normal structure uh, means structure of the, uh, uh, the functional first. Uh, functional means neurologically and uh, kidney concentrating ability. That is so any glomerulitis, all those concentrating ability will be impaired in the kidney. That is uh, one function. And neurological function, bladder drainage, any neurology nurse, nervous system involved, spinal cord or brain, the bladder emptying will be impaired. These two are the functional. Structural means normal kidney system should be there, the anti-grade drainage of the urine, no reverse flow, reflux should be there. Some of the example causing this anomalies of the development, the duplex ureter, ectopic insertion of the ureter, and stones, normally it causes anti uh, it will stop the blood and uh, stagger and stone and male's prostate, chronic prostatitis and urethral stricture and uh, urethral diverticula. Some of these are examples of structurally abnormal. And what is recurrent UTI? Because a lot of patients, once they contract UTI, it's been observed that they have a tendency to okay. again okay. get yeah, the yeah. same uh, infection. So okay. is, is that recurrent UTI and recurrent how do you treat UTI is it? the one uh, is a type of infection that happens in an uh, individual who has previously successfully documented resolution of the bacteria uh, UTI was UTI. Okay. Now it is again two types of recurrent UTI. One is reinfection. Reinfection is again the uh, fresh bacteria entry into the urinary system from outside. Mm. That is the most common in young women actually. One other type is persistence of the bacteria. Persistence means 
the infection after resolution it again activated uh, reemergence from the focus that is present in the genital urinary system some of the example for this is complicated you take like kidney stone medullary sponge kidney that uh, duplex ureter ectopic uh, ureter insertion chronic prostatitis all those i mentioned complicated with before okay. all these are causes of this that is persistence of the bacteria and could you tell us a little bit about management of recurrent okay. uti actually the recurrent uti again reinfection and re, uh, prevalence uh, sorry persistence hmm. reinfection is usually managed if any in young women uncomplicated cystitis or uti only three dose short duration of three days uh, simple antibiotic is en enough whereas uh, if it is complicated complicated uti means uh, in case of males it is uh, some of the conditions are directly considered complicated uti in complicated uti minimum 7 days up to 1 week sometimes up to 1 month antibiotic necessary complicated uti examples are males males any kidney stone and uh, previous hospitalization after surgeries and uh, patients on catheter neurologic patients and patient presenting at 7 days of in presentation and previously antibiotics already patient took and came back and pregnant ladies diabetic and immunosuppressed patient okay. all this uh, need more uh, more duration of antibiotics and this is the reinfection actually okay. and uh, persistence is that is previously present that becomes negative after culture again same bacteria come that is present before uh, in the inside the our body actually this need only urological intervention otherwise it will never go so this is it needs intervention only surgically we should clear it patient yeah. because uh, bacteria will be present in stagger stone if it, it will go and it will be present inside the stone it may come many times okay. till we remove the stone it will not go and other anomalies and chronic prostatitis also we should remove and treat completely okay. and urethral diverticula and uh, abscesses and all this and other some of the other examples are there medullary sponge kidney unilateral and uh, unilateral atrophic kidney with us and uh, renal cyst infected with communicating with the pelvic calcial system and uh, diverticula of the bladder and stone and uh, perivesical fistulas intravesical fistula and after nephr nephrectomy ureteric stump will be left behind some length that also will be focus of infection okay you should remove find out all this is the persistence of infection with here the active ure urological intervention is necessary to remove the focus of infection this is about the it is recurrent infection reinfection but uh, reinfection if again it is coming the the uh, long time long term antibiotic prophylaxis is necessary for okay. young women uh, middle age women all those they, will, they cannot tolerate symptoms such people are given long term prophylaxis 6 month uh, minimum dose antibiotic after dinner night time one example cefalexin or trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole trimethoprim or nitrofurantoin all these medicines can be taken Six, six months minimum actually okay. some patients were not ready to take this for them three day intermittent uh, dose medicine will give so they can take whenever they feel symptoms immediately they can take it okay and they will give the urine sample and culture and start three day medicine when the report available they can consult the doctor for further management okay. and do genetic factors make a person more susceptible to getting uti does yeah, it play yeah. a role ah, in yes, that yes. genetically uh, the susceptibility of the e coli bind bacteria binding to the vaginal or urethral or buccal also it is studied that binding depends on the uh, blood group lewis blood group non secretory or secretory type phenotype as well secretory type are pro uh, protective of the infection non secretory are more susceptible to this okay and uti is more uh, frequently seen in diabetic patients yes, so sir. why is it so why are Actual, they more uh, prone to getting yes, uti diabetic patient it is already immunocompromised state actually in diabetes kidney concentrating ability 
of the urine is impaired. Okay. So when they are unable to concentrate urine, they cannot concentrate the antibiotic also. So antibiotic medicines also will not stay there. So it will difficult to manage the UTA. Also, they are more susceptible to papillary necrosis and uh, empyseumatous pyelonephritis. These two are the also deadly complications of UTA. So we should treat them okay. before developing to that stage. And is there any risk associated with contraceptive usage when someone has UTI? Yeah, yeah contraceptive is definitely increases. Already females are more expo yeah, more susceptible to UTI. If they use contraceptive, still more it is there. Among the contraceptive, diaphragm usage is more risky than other types of contraceptive because diaphragm always uh, it is spermicidal agents are used with that. That is also a cervical cap put on the cervix before intercourse. Okay. This spermicide kills the normal flora as I mentioned before, the lactobacillus. It will kill the lactobacillus. So after the this spermicide action, the immunity will reduce. So bacteria easily binds and enters the urinary tract. Not only this, the studies are proved, even sexual intercourse itself is the risk factor for females. Okay. Because when the intercourse happens, the bacteria will be present in the perineum near anus, it will easily enter the mucosa. So they are recommending single dose antibiotic to be taken after intercourse. Okay. For both conditions, if they use contraceptive, then double risk actually. So if they are uh, not controlled with contraceptive, they can change the contraceptive. Or if they want to continue, same better to take postchiral. Postchiral means after intercourse, single dose antibiotic. Simple tablet I mentioned. You know, before. Same any one tablet they can take each okay. intercourse. And doctor, could you please throw some light on immunotherapy for uh, UTI? Okay. This is a recent. Uh, development in the treatment because even after long term self administered or post chiral therapies it is still recurring and uh, some people are frustrated with the symptoms as the age advances it is becoming more and more so immunotherapy is the e coli bacterial lyophilized lysate extract of the e coli is developed that capsule is available in the market 6 mg once daily in empty stomach 3 months they can take this can be taken with active infection with other antibodies or after the uh, treatment of UTI also. Three months if they take it will give better immunity and it will activate the innate immunity or body immunity to prevent the further ur urinary tract infection. That is a bacterial lyophil is run means uh, bacterial lyophil means that bacteria is deep freeze then it entered into the fumes like without uh, entering the solid to liquid, solid to vapors. So that capsule is the uh, equally extracted. Doctor, before we wrap up this episode, can you please explain to us in a nutshell whatever we discussed here today and a general message for, for our viewers exactly. on how to prevent UTI? Okay. Actually, uh, this UTI is very common. Clinical features vary dramatically and it affects all ages and males and females, children, adults, old age, anyone. So we should consult doctors, uh, all risky people, example, any male infection, children infection, and diabetic, old age, any immunosuppression, we should consult the doctor for, for early treatment to avoid the complication of UTI. Some precautions they can take that uh, drinking more water adequately, if they drink, the urine flush out, even if the bacteria is there, it will flush out with the uh, urine. Uh, amount of water, at least 2.5 to 3 liter per day. At least 1500 uh, ml urine output should be there per day, per person. Then it will wash out. And some uh, precautions they can take uh, before intercourse, after intercourse, cleaning and passing urine before intercourse. And after intercourse, passing urine, cleaning the area and wiping anterior to posterior. All this will not study proved to prevent recurrent duty, but precaution we can take. Thank you, doctor, for patiently answering all our queries. Viewers, I hope you found this episode very informative and useful. For any urology-related issues, please visit Dr. Shankar N. in Halilal Hospital, Manama. Our health is our most prized possession, and our bodies deserve to be treated with tender, loving care. So please take care of yourselves. 
it's time to wrap up this episode till we meet again next time this is anupama signing off stay healthy stay active and stay happy The branch of Mega Mart and Macro Mart supermarkets in Bahrain has opened in Sahala. The best offers are available to the customers at affordable rates. Everyone is welcome. During and around the opening day, a variety of fish including salmon, meat and dairy products, roastery, frozen items, food and non-food items, groceries, fruits and vegetables, electronics, garments and ready-to-eat food items are available to the customers at affordable rates. Hearty welcome to all Mega Mart and Macro Mart, your favorite shopping destination. NEC Rabbit, send money online to India. Credit in seconds with great rates. Download NEC Rabbit app now. The exclusive franchisee of Cochin Kala Bhavan in Bahrain. With over a decade of existence in Bahrain, exclusive online regular classes have started for classical dances, music vocals, instrumental music, cinematic dance, Kathak, Zumba body fitness, karate and yoga, drawing, arts and craft, children's theatre. For more information, please call 39-09-6845-39-09-4806-38-85-2397 or visit www.bahrainmediacity.com Since 2006, Magnum Imprint have been offering high standards of quality with our professional team that delivers all your advertising and promotional requirements efficiently and promptly. For more details, please contact 39887088 or 33856330 or 33542530.